whatever like little Indonesian kid they have doing taking down copyrighted content on YouTube yep. was probably just like, yeah, I don't fucking care. Like, yeah, they'll take it down. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Yeah, he hit, you know, when I'm sure when he got that taken down, you know, chubby fresh bike styles was popping off and he, he needed to he needed to <laughs> try to maintain the integrity of his public image so he could sell his sport bike uh, DVDs, which I just want to tell you, I have had a physical copy of in my home before. So what are you what, talking you mean like, about? Like it's oh, on a chubby bike? fresh bike styles with a Z? No oh brother oh what? brother we got to get you the chubby fresh bike styles dvd man so what is that no. oh. what is <laughs> chubby fresh bike styles is <laughs> so he had a he had a shop in cleveland in the mall for a long time that took different it, it, it evolved into different permute various permutations but i think the i can't remember if the name of the shop was originally bike styles again with a z for anyone listening um <laughs> But I know there was a DVD that accompanied the Bike Styles crew, which was his, he and his fucking goon homies who were all into uh, like Japanese, like sport bikes. And the video was literally just them all being fat, riding Kawasaki's really fast and like doing wheelies. And like, and they were like a lot <laughs> like video collages of them riding like <laughs> Japanese motorcycles and like popping wheelies and stuff. And that's it. And so, like they, and they sold them. And my old roommate, James, who's from Ohio, when we were like 19, had a copy of Chubby Fresh Bike Styles that if we would have people over half the time, it would be Chubby Fresh Bike Styles on the TV. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. I've had never heard wow. of that. Yeah. So that's Jesus. where sport bike attack that's comes from. Now I understand attack. sport yes. bike attack. Yep, exactly. Oh, exactly, man. You, there's a oh. lot of connect there's a lot of threads to be connected here. Yeah. That's what I, I do yeah. like that though. I do like when you a band has that stuff and Start then figuring it out. Like, wow, what <laughs> what could that even be about? Right. And then it's and then it's crazier than I could ever imagine. <laughs> yeah, he, had sure. a, he, had a, he had a store at the mall. Yeah. <laughs> he a, Until recently. Song's- he, I think he got kicked yeah. out of the mall because of like a bunch of shit. Like, I don't he know. He had like a bunch of shirts that had fuck BLM. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guarantee right, yeah. you he's claiming that Dwayne got him kicked out of the mall. Oh, absolutely. Belt. Absolutely, yeah. dude. Absolutely. He's always <laughs> talking about how Dwayne is anonymously placing phone calls. But the thing is, dude. There's no winners in this situation because, like, no. a, 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 with the with the drum replacement debauchery, maybe Dwight is doing that because it yeah, seems like he's still hung up on it enough to do it. You know, that dude Dwight, he does seem like fucking like weird and like he's just psychotic enough to like he's been a, he's shit been a like shit that. stir from day one yeah yeah, yeah for sure yeah. i mean i i dwid seems like a nice enough dude from uh, we have some mutual friends seems like a a good guy but i think that no party involved in that beef is letting it die no and i i will say dwid very much like love integrity love one of my favorite hardcore bands for sure but uh Okay, so uh, Dwid did attack us uh, via a cyber attack because we yeah. were about to despair, maybe disparage him. So yeah. I guess we'll hold off on that. <laughs> yeah, for nope. sure. Not even, not really him, just like his noise project. No, I don't, do, do we know when, when their like falling out with him happened? Because they were harping on it. Well, so he, I guess Chubby Fresh, because the, in the interview we, we watched, he played on like To Die For. Or something. He mentions playing with them later. Yeah, for okay. sure. I mean, these again, these are like these people are all drama magnets, and I have a feeling that there is a little bit of back and forth where a beef is like halfway crushed, but not really. And some people in the friend group never really come back around. And depending upon how you feel one day or the other, somebody puts a bug in your ear about this guy, and now you're beefing again. That's the feeling I yeah. get from all these people. Yeah. And as I was, I guess, kind of going to say, do it kind of does seem like a person at least now where uh, I mean again he's like it was a little bit of a shit stir to say the least and he seems to be kind of one of those people that has like in interviews in what little interviews he's been doing recently kind of has like a little bit of a revisionist history or like won't really touch too much about stuff he he kind of reminds me of uh, not nearly as nearly as bad as a Varg Similar thing, though. Like, similar thing where it's like, oh, no, that thing that happened actually was because of this. 
even sure. though it's very much because of this. Right. I, yeah. In that, in that mind numbing interview I was watching with that uh, douchebag and uh, Chubby Fresh, like that was like the first thing he talked about. He's like, yeah, you know, it's Dwid making all the stuff I, I saw online. His shirt said one life pure logo. Then it says, fuck BLM is Dwid. And, and I have FBI documents, bro. He says the FBI <laughs> traced it Jesus to Christ. his shit in Belgium. Now, I don't I don't like BLM anyway. I just I never I don't. I don't like that stuff. Weird how it just lines up with yeah. how I think. Chubby's just like, damn, I wish I thought of that first. You literally, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, they literally had, like, official One Life Crew merch that was, like, right. One Life Crew Trump Edge, right? So it's just like, it, like nobody's buying yeah. this dog. I mean, and, they, and, I, and I, even I, if someone else did do it, it is it is the what you actually think. So who cares? Oh, geez. Yeah. People keep making the stuff that is exactly what we think. That, that I totally <laughs> oh, 100% yeah. agree with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God damn it. What do, I, I have to get the FBI involved to stop this man from making shit that I like. <laughs> That's my name on it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> for crazy, FBI's like, crazy. yeah, he's on our most wanted list. The, the weird guy from Integrity. That's also yeah. a funny thing to think that Chubby Fresh could contact. He has the, you know, personal contact to the FBI, and he's like, Guys, guys, there's this guy in Belgium who's been fucking with me. You got to stop him. I like the idea of him going to the Belgian embassy. Like, you got to help me find this dude. He's just the T-shirts. I was on Facebook. I fucking seen the things. It's not I didn't do it. And it's I don't like that stuff either. You got to understand. But listen, listen to Agnostic Front. That's hardcore. And you got to he's here somewhere. You got to help me. FBI documents. And it's just the Belgian people are yeah. staring at him like. Be scruple duper, <laughs> and what they walk in, away. Yeah. are you in talking about? Be- because I'm so entrenched in the king, the kings of punk lore, <laughs> I'm now imagining an FBI agent sent out to seek Dwid in Belgium to to take care of Chubby Fresh's issue, and that agent is Agent <laughs> Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> hey man see hey, that's man. a good that's a he's new sitting, movie idea he's for sitting him, down right with, there. he's sitting down with chubbs he's like all right listen blood i'm gonna do this for you <laughs> all right listen white boy i got you <laughs> he's like all right listen up hillbilly i got your back i got your back cuz but i'm gonna do this thing my motherfucking way <laughs> and chubby fresh is just like yeah just get him man that's hardcore man i dude look he's, there, he's looks at, he's looking at the shirts like it's like, like oh i kind of like the design fuck, one life group fuck blm lord have mercy <laughs> <laughs> man now brother i can't i can't I get with can't that brother, that, brother. <laughs> you ever seen a white boy play the guitar with his hands <laughs> like, Wait, it's like you ever seen a, a man i never seen no white boy drum being that <laughs> fucking <laughs> chubby man i ain't never seen no white boy play the drums like that before man. <laughs> yo that one, man I play with my fingers. <laughs> so he's like, that's cool, man. Whatever. However you want to do it. He's yeah, like, I just need you to get wet for me. By this band, Agnostic Front, dude. <laughs> you got to check out this record, man. It's like real hardcore. So there's yeah. some kind of band from New York. City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's got a voiceover. He's like, VR conversation I put together. They must be in some kind of band together. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of kind of hardcore metal shit. Well, it's funny because his pretending to be black language. I mean, yeah, they would communicate well. Like, <laughs> yeah, they would. They would. They feel exactly the 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 exact perfect. I mean, the, the phrase "you slipping, man." What you mean? You can't watch your six? Like that could just be an intro to an OLC like, song. Now I gotta watch your six for you. I will snatch or every. Dwayne. I will snatch every motherfucker birthday. Like I think that is a One Life Crew lyric. Well, if they knew he was the foreigner, I don't think they would be very happy about it. <laughs> could we? Could we maybe do? Could could we maybe do a, a joke like studio like long distance studio project that's straight like Clevo core and all of the song lyrics are based around Steven Seagal films and all of the samples are Steven Seagal samples because I have I fully have the riffs to do it. That's a absolutely that's a really good idea. Yeah, we should do okay. that. That's all a great right. idea. I mean, if if right. anyone's gonna drum would drum for that, I mean, Tim would be like the one. Right. Yeah, I mean, I I got that that weird that Clevo uh, nine shocks kind of drum. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the CB. Or is, uh, me. Christoph had mentioned to me uh, from uh, Internal Rot, they have like Cleveland has like that retarded kind of vibe or something like that. Yeah, like, with some of the with drummers the, with the drumming <laughs> specifically, dude. On the face, like I love face value, but like when face value does the fast beat and it's just always backwards, 
It's all, it's just always like, yeah, 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 yeah. What are you doing? How did you land on that? Yeah. It's... Well, maybe you know what it is? The drummer must have been a guitar player before, yeah, before right, he played drums. Right. That could be. That could be.